right guys, so it's day three on this gooseneck build. I had to cut it a little short last night. But uh, we're gonna jump on finishing up these braces on this side, the, the right side of the, the trailer here. Uh, and then we'll start cutting the material and get the other side welded in. Hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be done with this other than actually putting the, uh, the hard material on top of the fenders here. So uh, let's get at it. The chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take Seven what I want, nine. and I always give Three it back. 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. All right, guys, we got there. these all cut and cleaned up, beveled up. I'm not taking all of the uh, the oil layer off of there right now. Just because it's probably going to take me a little while to get this project done, and it stays humid here. So I don't want this to completely rust up all the way before I'm able to, to finish this out. So once I'm done building everything, then that's when I'll sit down and I'll go with the grinder and whatnot before I, I run the paint. But uh, let's get you guys set up and watch me burn all these supports in. gonna weld in some braces brace right here and uh, set it against it I think what I'm gonna end up doing is well, it's still gonna go there but what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna cut this C channel out first for the tie down and then I'm gonna center it back out in between these two bars here once they're put in and uh, this one right here it landed right in the middle of where I needed to put a bar so I'm gonna have to cut it out anyways. And so I think it's it'll look best if I just go ahead and hold this one as well and, and center them both up. That way everything looks symmetrical. So uh, let's get the plies, we've got our hook back up and get to cutting.
All right, guys, well, we've got all these tacked in at this point, at least up to where the fender's going to start at. So uh, I'm going to work on getting these burned all the way in to a nice level, squared up, ready to roll. So I'm going to burn those in. It's going to take a little bit. It's a good chunk of welding for me. So uh, probably like five seconds for you guys. But uh, we'll see you when uh, we get back.
guys. It's another night in the shop. Uh, got all these bolted up fully inside and out, underneath, all the good jazz there. I uh, didn't measure everything, so I uh, shorted myself on some of the square tubing to make my braces come down here and meet back to the frame. So I've got two sticks left. I'm gonna have to make another run up to uh, General Steel sometime this week to grab another stick that way I can make all the braces. But walk in, show you uh, what all this looks like. Actually, better yet, I'm, I'm gonna flip you guys around. How to make it easier? All right. I still haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna run these back in. I'll get to that at another point. I'm not gonna let it slow me up right now. Still gotta make a couple of cap plates for these on the ends as well. Kind of, kind of made this work right here. This is nothing more than two pieces of L angle essentially welded back into each other. But I ran out of square tubing and it wouldn't quite look right, even though it doesn't look the greatest now, but it'd be fine, it'd be fine. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of welding tonight. I don't have a whole lot of time towards the end of the evening. Uh, I am going to, to cut all the material I need to build the other side. So uh, we'll throw you guys on a, on a time lapse and uh, show you me cutting. All right, guys. Well, it took like an hour for me, probably about five minutes for you guys, but uh, we got all the metal cut down to build our other set of fenders here. So uh, we'll get on to welding all that up or at least getting tacked in tomorrow. I I'm gonna call it a day. It's been a long day. Uh, this project will be coming to the channel here soon. I gotta get a couple more things together for it. But uh, see you later. Alrighty guys, well it's another night in the shop. I'm going to try to work on this uh, left side of this trailer, see if we can't get uh, everything cut off that we need cut off, and try and get everything cleaned up and tacked in tonight, and uh, see how it goes.
All right, guys, before I start cleaning up some of this metal and, and getting some spots ground out, we can get this stuff welded on. Welded on. I want to take a few minutes just to kind of go over a little bit of the material, the angles, links of that, that nature, just in case you guys decide that you want to put some uh, driver fenders and extend the frame out on your one of your trailers. So this is a 20 foot gooseneck, it's 18 foot flat, 20 foot or two foot dove. So I sat down and, and figured out about the design that I wanted to go with as far as the driver fenders. And then from there, it's, it's a lot of math and calculations, but I'll spare you guys that mess. Uh, so these are the, uh, the bar that's gonna go up on the angle here. That'll go lead you over the tire forward and aft. These are cut 35 and a half inches long and a 15 degree cut on either side, going opposite directions there. That way, and this is set up here, coming uh, off this level, meets up to your, your next flat spot. Like that right there. So that's cut at a, a 15 degree angle, and then down here is cut at a 15 degree angle. And that'll give you about six and three quarter inches in the center of your trailer here. So you need plenty of room for your tires to move up and down, articulating through whatever terrains or whatever have you, and compensating for a little bit of load. So there's, I've got four of these cut, a couple of, uh, of the flats over here, they're running I believe it's 33 inches is what I ended up cutting those at. And I brought this out, as you remember probably earlier in the video, 10 inches. So these are cut out at 8 inches to compensate for the 2 inch on the two. So I just want to kind of give you guys that rundown real quick, just in case you were curious and if you wanted to build your own. Back to grinding. done by the end of the month.
All right, guys, it's been a, a crazy past couple of days. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work out here on this trailer. May have slipped up and not filmed a whole lot, to be honest with you. So uh, it, it's going to look a lot different than what it was two seconds ago. So let me show you what I got going on. And uh, we'll do a, a slight walk around on it, just a little bit. And we'll get on to it. So, what you got? And you guys can tell, this trailer is officially in primer. I still have some metal to put on over the fenders, fenders, the uh, over the wheelhouse here. I like that term a lot better. And but I was just, I had to get this stuff in primer, guys. It, I was fighting it. Just to seem like every couple of days there was a new layer of surface rust and I just I would rather have to grind some of this back off to weld it back down than to sit there and just let that rust keep building up. So that's what I did. We got uh, all the cross braces put in underneath on both sides. Everything's fully welded all the way through and through. I've just got to, uh, I gotta get over to my dad's place and get my flat steel that I got sitting over there to, to put these fenders on, but I'm not super big rush to get that done right now. Especially now that I've got it in primer. I got some other projects going on as well. As in, uh, kind of started playing around with getting that top deck built. So hopefully, we'll start working on that here in the next couple of days. We'll see how it all runs out. So, I just wanted to bring you guys up to date on this before I close this video out on the drive over fenders, if you will. It's more like a complete overhaul in my opinion, but we'll call them drive over fenders. So, appreciate you guys watching. Remember to subscribe, like, there's going to be a crap ton of videos coming out over the next few months. I've got projects on projects that we can just keep running. So if you guys like this stuff, please like and subscribe and follow me on this journey. Later.